the magician will now attempt a dangerous trick that's not for the faint of heart or stomach. If you have an aversion to the sight of scary tricks, now's the time to look away or watch if you dare. He's about to give himself a trendy body piercing the hard way. By the way, don't try this one at home. With his sleeve rolled up, the magician takes a long stainless steel needle and jams it through his forearm. It's slow going, but he forces it through the flesh and muscle. I told you this was going to be upsetting, and it's about to get even gorier. The magician begins to withdraw the needle, and sure enough, he lets loose a small gusher of blood. I keep reminding myself that this is just a trick. He'd better pull it out before he gets weak in the knees. I know I am. There it is. He's a braver man than I, and I keep reminding myself that it's just an illusion. So how did the magician thrust the needle through his forearm and draw blood without inflicting serious injury? Rest assured, this is just an illusion, and the blood is all part of the gag. The secret is in this ordinary bottle of rubber cement. Before the trick begins, the magician takes a healthy dose of the clear cement and applies it to his forearm. He's careful to get complete coverage on his skin. When the cement dries, it will be impossible to detect. Now when the magician appears to plunge the needle into his arm, he's merely pressing it against his skin. He struggles a bit to make the illusion more convincing. Once the needle appears to be completely inserted into his arm, he pinches his skin around the steel. The rubber cement causes the skin to stick to itself. The effect is pretty gruesome, but not grisly enough for our masked man. He wants us to see blood. That's where a trick needle comes in handy. It's secretly hollow, and the knob on the end is really a rubber bulb that contains fake stage blood. The magician uses the needle like a turkey baster, squeezing it to suck up the fake blood into the rubber bulb, then squirting it out when the time is right for maximum horror. Squeezing the bulb lightly is enough to force the fake blood out of a tiny hole in the hollow steel tube. All he has to do now is withdraw the needle from the glued folds of his skin, and the ghastly illusion is complete. <laughs>